Hello mga kapit pai. Good morning everyone. Uh, pasensya po kung merong medyo maingay sa labas kasi yung phone natin bago guys eto. Medyo sensitive siya kasi bago eh. Kasi ito lang kasi ginagamit ko siya ngayon kasi nasa loob naman tayo ng bahay. Hindi siya pang outdoor so yun. Kasi pag dati yung ginagamit kong phone, eto. Ayan, medyo hindi siya sensitive kasi may dead cut siya. Kaya hindi mo masyadong marinig yung ingay sa labas pero yung bago nating phone, eto guys. Lapel style yan. Kaya medyo sensitive kasi yung sakop ng voice niya paikot dito. Kaya medyo sensitive kahit malayo. Kaya ayun guys. Uh, may grant tayong uh, comment ngayon dahil may nag-comment sa video ko na how to basic run na uh, IIS simple website on Windows Server 2012. Uh, so, ganito guys. Ang nag-comment si ano, Hamir yung apelido. So, hindi siya Pilipino. So, kailangan natin mag-transform or enable muna natin yung English mode. Okay? Ito na siya. Yeah. Hi neighbors. I'm back with English mode already. So, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and Don't forget also to click the ring button so that's why you'll be updated if we have uh, new videos uploaded on our YouTube. And guys, uh, today our topic is we're going to grant the request from our one of our subscriber and he's not a Filipino so I just enabled my English mode so that's why. So today guys, we're going to teach you how to run or publish a simple website on our IIS using Windows Server 2012. So, uh, let's go to our monitor. So, that's why I can show you how and I can show you step by step on how to enable the simple basic website on IIS using Windows Server 2012. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys. Uh, here we are at our uh, monitor right now. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to create our HTML file, okay? So, I have a editor here and I already created the one. Just, you need to create like this one as HTML file. And then, after you created this one, you'll need to save it first on your desktop. Yes, I already saved it here. This one, the test one. Okay. Yes, and then go to your desktop and then we need to try first if uh, the HTML file is working. Just double click this one and it will pop up on your browser and this is it, my first website. So we already test the HTML file and it's working. So after that, we need to go to our Windows Server 2012. Okay, we need to remote that one. So, this is my IP. And the password is... Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, this is our Windows Server 2012. We need to go to our... Uh, server Manager. And then... Uh, the first thing is... We need to go to our... Uh, guys, if you install the Windows IIS manager on your Windows Server 2012, it will create the folder on your C. It's the folder here. This is the default folder of your IIS. So, all the files of your website is going here. So, we need to create first the one. So, just open this one. And then we need to create our own folder here, new folder, and then we need to rename it test website number two. Okay, and then guys, the the HTML you created before, you need to copy it in here. Here, uh, I just copied here. This is the HTML file that were created before. So just copy this one 
copy here and paste and continue so this is our HTML file that we created before uh, we're going to test it again and there you go it's opening and there you are it's working so close this and then uh, we're going to open our IIS manager just go to the tools and internet information services manager open it and then there you go this is our default IIS so just click here and on the side here there you are and <clears throat> we're going to right click here and we need to create our new website here just click add website and then uh, just put a name whatever you want uh, for me I'm going to put a uh, uh, home to website and then here uh, you need to copy where, uh, bef uh, this is the path that where you created your HTML file so we just copied our uh, HTML file on our C here this one here and this one so you need to copy the link and paste on the and paste here okay and binding and put the IP address of your server so this is the IP address of your Windows Server 2012 just put it in here uh, my Windows Server 2012 uh, IP address is 192.168. Yeah, this is my IP here <coughs> and this one if you have if you want to make it uh, online if you want to access it outside if you have already a domain so just put it in here here so for now uh, we are just you know uh, doing our uh, local server so just click ok and then oh I'm sorry the site name cannot contain ah ok uh, yes one just click ok and then the site will only be able to start okay yes and there you go guys our website is already created so the next thing you need to do is uh, uh, before guys uh, before uh, before you start the website this one here you'll need to disable all the default website because it will conflict to the website it's running because you know the port is not yet uh, changed so they are using default 80 ports so you'll need to disable all of them so that's why it will not conflict to your website okay guys and then you need to go to Uh, default document okay guys um, if you open these pictures you'll see the HTML files here yeah there you go and you'll need you need to, to add the file that you created before the file name of your HTML file this one in here okay so that's why if the IIS server starts it will automatically detect the HTML file that you created so that's why it will run your website okay guys okay uh, you need to copy the exact name of this one so uh, just right click and copy and then go to your default document and then right click add and then paste it and then okay uh, there you go that's our HTML file that we created before okay guys so 
we're done already we created the site we copied the default document here and then the site is already started so look at that oh see or if you want to work uh, pr properly we need to restart the site first so okay look at that okay so if you want uh, after that you created already you need to try it to access on your browser outside on your server 2012 so this is the link so we need to go to our computer already so this is our computer so we're going to try our website already if it's already working 192.168.1.1 one okay i mean that's not the one that's the router ip address this is the ip address of our server okay guys there you go it's working so that's all guys for now uh, i have also a different video on how to uh, install iis on windows server 2012 uh, okay if you want uh, more videos or if you want more tutorials just don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so you'll be updated if you have a new video okay thank you for watching and god bless everyone thank you so much bye